Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be talking about the top 5 best mods in Minecraft 1.16.5. Now, a lot of the mods that we talked about in 1.16.4, that video, are also compatible with 1.16.5. So, we do have our list for 1.16.4 mods in the description down below as well. And if you want to check that out, you can get all those mods we have confirmed are compatible in our video. So go check that out in the description down below as well. Um, it's just really cool because you can get 10 mods out of this video instead of the 5 mods that we're going to talk about in this video. So... Yeah, it's kind of a win-win. If you watch both videos, you get 10 mods instead of just 5, because all of the mods on that list aren't on this list. Does that make sense? Anyway, we're going to be talking about the 5 best mods for 1.16.5 today. First and foremost, though, we do have much more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So, if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go. You can check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your server up and running. Now, Nevertheless, let's go ahead and talk about the five best mods for 1.16.5 today. And first and foremost, we're starting off one we've never featured in the past, ever. Like, never, ever, ever featured this mod before, and that is Serene Seasons. It's from the creators of Biomes of Plenty, and as the name kind of implies, it adds in seasons to Minecraft. Why is this cool? Because the seasons change how different things happen in the game. Not only does it change the colors of blocks as time goes on, for example, grass looks more dead in the winter than it does in the summer, it also changes things like how farming works, right? You're not going to be able to farm as much stuff, if anything, in the winter as you will in the summer or the spring, and you actually might have trouble farming some stuff in the summer because it's so hot in comparison to the spring and fall. So it's really, really cool. It changes the farming dynamic completely, and on top of that, it changes weather as well. For example, plains biomes are going to get tons of snow in the winter. Birch biomes are going to get tons of snow in the winter. And guess what? The water in these biomes is also going to freeze because the temperature changes. It's really, really cool, and it actually blew my mind the first time I saw winter with Serene Seasons because I was like, the water in a plains biome is frozen, and I'm shook. It's truly incredible and one of the coolest mods I've seen in Minecraft, but it's not as popular as in my opinion it should be, which is why we're featuring it here today. I just think it's a really cool mod, so I wanted to feature it. Also, whether it's going to make it rain more in the spring, for example, than it would in the summer. So while you're getting snow and ice in the winter, you're getting more rain in the spring, and then in the summer, you're getting more hot heat sort of stuff going on there with a little less rain. It's really, really cool. Seasons don't progress too fast, but they progress fast enough that you can actually go through them in-game. It's awesome. I love this mod and I wanted to feature it here because it's just one of the coolest mods I've seen and I can't believe it's not more popular than it is. So hopefully we can help that a little bit with this video. You can check it out in the description down below as well as all the other mods that we feature in this video. They're all linked in the description down below and most of them have dedicated tutorials when you click on them for how to install them. So that's really cool as well. Now moving on from Serene Seasons, we're going to be talking about an old mod that's been around for a while but is newly updated to 1.16 and that is Journey Map. This is by far one of the best, if not the best, map mods for 1.16.5. Why would I say that because journey map doesn't just add in a mini map with waypoints and different things like that pretty much every map uh, mod does that it adds in a mini map and it adds waypoints that you can set in game Journey Map takes this one step further though and it allows you to actually see a full screen version of your map in game and via a web browser now we don't really cover the web browser part on this channel you can see the wiki on how to do that at the mod page in the description down below but specifically in game you can pull up a big full screen map of your world anywhere that you've walked in your world and things like that since installing the journey map mod you can see in this mini map it's absolutely incredible and one of the coolest features about journey map in my opinion I wish more map mods had this because it's the feature that I like most about map mods. To be able to see a general big overview of my world in game and see everything I've built and almost everything I've accomplished in that world on a big picture scale. It's really, really cool, and I'm glad Journey Map has it. You can also see waypoints on this map, so if you do get lost and you have no clue how to get back and you don't know which way you want to go, you can use your big full screen map to find the waypoint and kind of plot your route back to your waypoint as well. And last but not least, I do want to mention that it is 100% customizable. Journey Map is the most customizable map that we've seen. You can even customize different textures in-game with Journey Map. So overall, it's truly incredible. The best map mod out there, and that's why it's featured on this list. From Journey Map, let's move on to something for the builders out there, and that's going to be the Chisels and Bits mod. If you're a builder in Minecraft, you may have heard of this mod, or you may be wondering, how are these people getting these custom textures like this? How are they putting grooves in these blocks, and how are they doing all this stuff? Well, most likely they're doing it with the Chisels and Bits mod. Chisels and Bits allows you to actually create custom blocks from existing textures in Minecraft. What I mean by that is you can take a quartz block, for example, and give it indentions or even change the different patterns in that block 
from like, you know, be able to add gold inlays into a course block, for example, using chiseling bits. It's the only mod out there that I know of that does this, and it works with a lot of mods as well. So for example, if you download and install a mod, like, I don't know, Biomes of Plenty is just an example, and it adds in a cool block, Chisel and Bits will allow you to customize that block in game as well. So that's really, really cool, and really is one of the best mods for builders. You can also copy blocks pretty easily in game, allowing you to basically create multiple of these blocks and, you know, use them all throughout your design. If you've seen some really cool builds on Reddit that have like custom blocks in them, and you're wondering, how do they get these custom blocks? Chisel on Bits is probably how, right? They're one of the best block mods out there because they allow you to create custom blocks using a chisel in game, put intentions into those blocks, and well, make them custom. So it's really, really cool. You can check it out in the description down below. I'm not the best builder in the world, so our B roll footage here isn't the greatest, but we'll probably include some screenshots as well of some people who are a lot better at building than me or from the mod page. That way you can kind of see exactly what you can do because, uh, again, I'm not the best builder. So overall, Chisel and Bits is a must-have mod for builders in Minecraft and one that I can recommend wholeheartedly. However, if you're not as much of a builder and you're more of a I don't know, a, a, a fighter, right? Is that, is that the word I'm looking for? You want some challenge when it comes to mobs in Minecraft. Those zombies and skeletons aren't doing it for you anymore. In that case, Ice and Fire Dragons may be the mod for you. This is a mythical creatures style mod and while it does say dragons, and it does add in a few different dragons, it adds in a lot more than dragons. So many additional mods that I think it's a disservice to this mod that it's called Ice and Fire Dragons. Because it adds in a lot more than dragons, as I said. It adds in cyclopses and pixies and trolls and so much stuff. It Literally, that's not even scratching the surface. It adds in hydras. It adds in mermaids. So many awesome mythical creature mobs that truthfully, the name doesn't do it justice. Now, it does add in cool dragons as well, and I don't want to, you know, discount that. There are some awesome stuff with dragons. You can also do more with dragons than you could with the Cyclops, for example, because it is a dragon mod at the end of the day. But these other mythical creatures are super difficult to fight. You can literally get one hit killed almost from a Cyclops if you don't have any armor on. And there are other creatures as well that will just knock you out if you aren't careful. They spawn all around the world, and this adds in custom buildings and things like that for these creatures to be housed in if you find them naturally. I'm spawning some in-game in the B-roll footage, but nevertheless, it is truly incredible. And one of the best creature, mythical creature mods specifically, out there. And I love it. Check it out if you want more awesome things to do when it comes to mobs and creatures in Minecraft. This is a must-have mod in my opinion if you want to create kind of a cool mythical world with a bit of challenge in your game. Now switching from cool mythical creatures, let's talk about the most boring part of Minecraft. Yeah, you got that right, fishing. <laughs> fishing is, is pretty boring in Minecraft. It, literally, you're just sitting there, you're casting your fishing rod, and you're catching a few things like salmon, pufferfish, tropical fish, or cod, and that's about it. And see, Aquaculture 2, the next mod on our list, set out to change that. And they added in tons, and I mean tons, of different fish that you can catch. But you can't catch fish everywhere. For example, in saltwater, you can only catch certain fish. And in freshwater, you can only catch certain fish. And in certain biomes, you can catch certain fish. And in others, you can't catch those fish, but you can catch others. This is all outlined more in depth on their mod page in the description down below. But overall, for example, you can th catch things like smallmouth bass, catfish, and bluegill in freshwater. Whereas in saltwater, you can catch things like jellyfish, red grouper, and tuna. There's more than those in both of those categories. Those are just examples, but it's really, really cool. And if you like fishing in real life, you're going to be like, huh, this is actually kind of cool, bringing fishing to Minecraft. And if you don't like fishing in real life, this is going to make fishing a lot less boring in Minecraft because at least you have other stuff to get. On top of that, you can craft cool things with these fish that you catch, and you can craft cool armor and upgrade your fishing rod. So it's not just the default fishing rod anymore. They add in custom upgradable fishing rods as well as lures and, I believe, bait that you can use in-game as well. So it's really, really cool. There's tons of cool tackle in here. It's it's great. So Aquaculture 2 is the best fishing mod for Minecraft, and it sets out and succeeds to make fishing not boring in Minecraft. It does well. So good to Aquaculture 2 for doing that, and that's why they're on this list here. Now, that's our five. Those are our five best mods for 1.16.5, but there's two more bonus mods that I wanted to include here. These have been on list more recently in the past, but I like to include them nonetheless, and those are Just Enough Items and World Edit. Now, Just Enough Items is a mod that you have to have if you're combining all these mods. For example, if you went and downloaded every mod in the description and added them to Minecraft, which I encourage you to do, but if you did that, you're going to be adding in a lot of custom blocks. Now you might be like, that's cool, I want custom blocks. Well, I do too, but the problem comes, right? The problem comes when you need to know how to craft different things from these mods, or you want to see what blocks are with these mods. Luckily, Just Enough Items solves this problem. Whenever you're in game, you hit, you know, your inventory screen, and it pulls up every block in Minecraft, including the blocks added by your mods. And what's even better is you can search for modded blocks right here on the right-hand side of your screen. 
it's truly incredible and something you must have when you play modern Minecraft because there's so many cool custom blocks in there, you can't possibly know all the recipes and just enough items knows them all because it's a computer program and that's what it's designed to do. So it's absolutely incredible. Check it out. Add it with any other mods. And then last but not least, I feel like builders weren't that well represented on this list. And that's why World Edit is here. World Edit is a building mod. All of the massive builds you've seen in Minecraft are probably built with World Edit for the most part. I guess I can't say all of them, but... A lot of them are, for example, on servers especially, and that's because World Edit is super simple and super easy. You can do things like paint in Minecraft, basically like paint pathways, paint blocks, you can do different texturizing and things like that with World Edit, but you can also copy, paste, cut, remove, you know, add in massive walls, add in spheres, all of that can be done with just a few clicks in World Edit, and that's why so many worlds are built with world edit because it just speeds up the building process so much and if you're a builder and you don't know about it you should probably learn it because it's going to help you out a ton but nevertheless there is our list of really seven mods but top five main mods for minecraft 1.16.5 what other mods did we miss let us know in the comment section down below also check out our 1.16.4 mods list because all of those mods are compatible with our 1.16.5 mods list here so go check that out as well that link's in the description down below go check out apex minecraft hosting to start your very own minecraft server the breakdown to xyz slash apex First link down below. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.